Are you a Terran? Do you want to improve at the game but not have to use any extra brain power? In this video, we'll cover how to gain up to 11.1% meal efficiency and up to a 5% faster third base timing. Results may vary. Here we are on the map 2000 Atmospheres. This might be obvious for some, but we have to start somewhere. Each base has 8 mineral patches, and when I drop a meal, it carries a load of 25 minerals. According to the StarCraft Wikipedia, the time life of mules allows for 8 to 9 total mining trips. This mule is about to drop off the ninth load of minerals. But what do you know? The mule has expired, and that final 25 mineral load has vanished faster than a new version of anything by Microsoft needing to be patched. Since mules have a timed life, what applies to regular workers is a bit different. And that brought me to the basis of this video. Can a Terran ensure 9 loads of minerals get delivered every single time? I started this project by dropping mules at each mineral patch one at a time and counting mineral loads through trial and error. Here's a chart of my results on 2000 atmospheres. Each mineral patch was counted from 1 to 8 as an ID. With the first 4 bases included, there's a pattern beginning to develop. The two center patches 4 and 5 are observed to have, on average, less loads than their counterparts. Any numbers with a bold font signify that a meal expired with 25 minerals still in hand. The final column is a count of cells per row that do not have a bold number. So then I figured, what if there's a difference if a player were to spawn at the top of the map? And there, there was a difference. I could have stopped there, but I imagined what others would say if I did stop. How peaceful it must be for you to have a mind unburdened by thought. So I tested the entire map pool. To keep mineral patch numbers consistent, most bases at the top of the map are numbered from right to left. As you can see when I rotate the camera, this base looks like a bottom base. Here's the results I came up with. With all results aside, I decided that making a system that included reduced micro in combination with reducing unearned revenue would not be simple. So from this point on, the only focus is to ensure every mule delivers 9 loads of minerals. Here's a chart I made simplifying the final results. If anything is learned from this video, please do not drop mules in the red zone. That's the main message. Mineral patch number 3 and 6 are good, number 4 and 5 are bad. Everything else is in between. If you think this chart might help in any way, you can help yourself to it in the link below. In this last part of the video, I'm going to demonstrate third base time savings and a regular battlecruiser build versus the Zerg. The only difference will be the mule placement. To keep things consistent, the build maintains a steady flow of workers until the natural has seven workers. Four marines, four hellions, a viking, and a bunker are built, and the worker building the supply depot next to the bunker always builds the third command center. To spare you half an hour, I'm only showing you the best timing. I apologize if I might sound congested, I'm on week 2 of COVID and my voice is different. Here's a quick comparison of this build being done 3 times with both methods. When up against the Protoss, it might be tempting to use lots of mules. Especially after watching this video, but remember... From the warp prison I come. Not enough energy. In as competitive a game as StarCraft, finding a new way to shave off even a few seconds in a build order is huge. Be sure to let me know in the comments below, were you able to shave any time off your third or fourth base? Thanks for watching!